All right, so we back at it. Jesus is the Messiah of the Muslims and the Muslims only. Part five. five. Now, I want to catch you up on everything we talked about. We talked about Joshua saving Rahab. We talked about Esau taking daughters of Ishmael to wife. We talked about David being the son of Saul. And we talked about the rich man. And I want to go further into detail on the rich man. There was a story of two men, one poor, one rich. This poor man only had one lamb. This was a picture of Christ. And the rich man took this lamb, which is Paul, and he dressed it for the traveler. In other words, he killed it for him. Now, this was very wicked. David was very upset with the man. And he said, you know what? The man that did this got to die. And Nathan said, you are that man. You are that man. And we know that this all points to Paul. And the judgment was he is going to have to restore the lamb fourfold. So that church that was stolen, that real church, is going to have to be returned. And that church is Islam. Islam is a religion that Jesus was interested in. And right now, as you can see, Christianity has been dominating for a long time. But then Islam came back. And the Ottoman Empire is proof. And we recovered ourselves from the Christians. But Right now, Christianity is on top. But what's happening is Christianity is losing power because they're not the fastest growing religion no more. Islam is the second largest religion, and eventually it will be the largest religion. So all of the prophecies regarding the lamb being restored fourfold, that lamb is the nation of Islam, okay? Bathsheba, the woman that was washing herself, that is the lamb. And as you can see, that lamb is being restored. We are on our way to being number one. Think about Bathsheba now and think about David. David made a baby with Bathsheba and that baby had to die. And that's a picture of Paul with the church and how he killed Jesus on biblical record. And that baby has to come back and die. Jesus was a picture of Jedediah. That child that David had with his affair with Bathsheba. That baby has to die. That is the firstborn child that has to die. All because someone chose to make a God out of him. All because someone chose to make him the foundation of of their church. This truth is so simple. Once you understand the types and shadows. Paul was the man with his father's wife. Just like he had a situation in his church. When there was a man who had their father's wife. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Paul said that what you're doing. The Gentiles don't even do such things. And this was Paul being mocked. Paul was the man with his father's church. Paul was the Abner. He was the man with his king's wife. And what's so sad is the prophet Isa has to die all because of it. God Almighty is going to close his baby's eyes. There's going to be weeping and crying and mourning. But God will get the glory when all the world sees that Jesus is not God. Now, Jesus is like Joseph. He's bringing back an evil report. Okay, he's a witness against the church. He was a witness against Potiphar's wife. He exposed her. Oh, yes, he did. He exposed her. Now, I'm going to get some verses from the clear book. Because I showed you in the Bible. And I'm going to prove to you that Jesus is the Messiah of the Muslims. 
This is going to be Quran 3 and 56. And I'm ran. And when Allah said, Oh Jesus, I will cause you to die a natural death and will exalt you to myself and will clear from the charges of those who disbelieve. Now these charges came from the Christian church. All the assumptions they made about him being God, him dying for their sins, and all the such lies, okay, that came from Christianity. Those are the disbelievers. And will place those who follow you above those who disbelieve. Now the ones who follow Jesus are the Muslims. God's going to give us support. God is going to give us the superior rank over the Christians in that he will give to every Muslim, a Jew and a Christian. And he's going to say, you know what? This is your ransom from the fire. Just like they thought to make Jesus their sacrifice. Guess what? They are your sacrifice. And he will clear from you the charges of those who disbelieve. I must go over that again. And will place those who follow you. Those are the Muslims. Above those who disbelieve. Those are the Jews and the Christians. Until the day of resurrection. Then to me shall be your return. And I will judge between you. Concerning that wherein you differ. So this is crystal clear. That there are charges pending against Jesus. And those charges can be seen in Quran 5, 116, when Allah will say to Jesus, did you say to the people, worship you as God and your mother? And he will say, glory be to you. You know, how could I ever say what I had no right to say? You know what's hidden within me, but I don't know what's hidden within you. You were witness over them. When you took me, you were witness and you're witness over all things. If you punish them, they're yours. But if you have mercy on them, you are almighty. You're all wise. So in other words, Jesus is going to clear himself from those charges because he's going to save himself. You know, just like in the Old Testament, a prophet could only save himself. If he doesn't give the message, he's going to be in trouble. If he gives the message, he only saves himself. And Jesus will clear himself from the charges. Now let's go to Quran chapter 4, 157. Many of you need to read the Quran. You need to read the clear book. You missing out. You missing out. You are just being fed lie after lie. You need to open up your eyes. Stop being scared to get in that Quran. Now this is going to be Anisa. 4157 that they said in boats we kill Christ Jesus the son of Mary the messenger of Allah but they killed him not nor crucify him but so it was made to appear to them and those who differ therein are full of doubts with no certain knowledge but only conjecture that's assumption to follow for of a surety they did not kill him. Now pause. Meditate on that. Here we have the prophet Muhammad. The man was unlearned. And he tells us the most truest thing we've ever heard. And that is Jesus never died. He says they certainly did not kill him. Now this is like boldness. The boldness of a lion. OK, he, he boldly declares that Jesus did not die. And if we keep going and we go to verse 58, rather Allah raised him up to himself and Allah is almighty, all wise. 159 is key. Every one of the people of the book will definitely believe in him before his death. And on the day of judgment. Jesus will be a witness against them. Jesus is going to be a witness against the Christians. This is proof that Jesus is the Messiah of the Muslims only. Jesus is going to testify against the Christian. 
This is proof that he is the Messiah of Islam and Islam only. The people of the book, those are the Jews, the Christians. They will believe in him before he even dies. This is proof they haven't believed in him yet. They won't believe in him until after his death. And Jesus will be a witness against you. So this is the proof I showed you from the clear book. I showed you from the Bible that Jesus is the Messiah of the Muslims and the Muslims only. Now, that's not saying Allah will not cause any Jews or Christians to enter paradise. Okay, God is merciful. He can look down from the banister of heaven and he can see a person that really doesn't know. Okay, they genuinely don't know, but they have good works and they are living the life of a real Christian. God can have mercy on those type of people. Okay, Allah knows best. But according to the Quran, there is a grievous penalty for those who associate partners with him. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.